Hi, this is Justin Leslie from Utah School of Guitar Making. Um, what we're looking at here is uh, two of our really simple fret press tools. Um, here at the school, we're equipped with uh, many of the common fret presses, Jaws, One, Two, The Arbor. Um, but I was uh, sort of unsatisfied in some ways with some of those tools and wanted to create some tools that were a little less expensive and easy to use. Um, and accessible to people with limited budgets, which many luthiers are. So real quickly, this is the, the, the basic fret press. This works up through frets 9, typically about fret 9, 10, and it simply just slides over the neck, okay? And it has a call that's attached to it. This particular call is flat because this is a classical guitar. And so we simply just bring our dials down as you can see, it's supported under the neck by a, a cork-faced uh, call to keep any damage from happening. This particular guitar was fretted using this uh, simple tool. So once I typically hammer the fret in um, at first and apply a little glue to the fret ends, I then bring this over and uh, just clamp it down. And let me just make sure that I'm on my fret the way I want to be. And that's the biggest thing. And once you're on top of the fret, it's pretty easy. I just dial the, the dials down. I'm being fussy today. Okay, usually it just goes straight down. It doesn't torque it to any direction. It goes straight down with the pressure and seats the fret very easily. Um, and uh, without much much effort at all. And then I uh, typically uh, spray my fret ends and move to the next fret. So again, next fret I would just hammer in, add some glue, hammer it in, release it, move it to the next fret. Again, get it seated, and you get good at this after a little practice. Um, and then we just tighten it down. And again, same thing, a lot of times, again, after hammering, we have uh, frets that pop out or aren't seated perfectly, and this finishes it off, okay? And I can really crank down on this if I need to or apply just a little bit, a bit of pressure. But that's how I work, usually up through about fret nine. And this uh, can be outfitted with any call, flat, or any radius that you, you desire. Um, and it's super simple and it produces great results. And then for frets above nine, I have another fret press there for upper register. And this, this tool, again, is, is based some similar uh, off uh, kind of a, the Jaws 3 they used to make years ago at Stumac, except for I've modified it slightly. It's, it's just made out of wood. Again, I use a call to protect my neck and this call might be curved if I have a finished type neck or flat if it's an unshaped neck, but I just simply tighten this down, okay? And then I go to my dials again and push the fret in after I've hammered it lightly. We know in this area we have to be fairly gentle. Um, and again, the call on here can be flat or any radius that you want and you lock that right down pushes the fret in. Once you're done with that, again, just release and move forward. And I usually use this from fret 10 forward. And uh, super simple to move to the next fret. And uh, you can fret the guitar rather quickly and probably under 30 minutes tops. Um, and it does a great job. I haven't uh, had any issues with this. Um, very simple, as you can see. So anyway, uh, this is just a Utah School of Guitar Making uh, tool, tools. Uh, we make several unique tools and jigs, and uh, we'll, we'll be making future videos demonstrating some of these. But this is our, our new uh, fret press combination. So our basic fret press, which again can also have a flat call if you're dealing with an unfinished neck. And likewise, the upper register uh, fret press can also have a flat call. But it's as simple as that. Again, this guitar was done completely by simple hammering and then using the press to 
uh, seat the frets uh, all the way correctly. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and if you're interested in one of these fret presses, you can reach us at Utah School of Guitar Making at gmail.com, um, and we'd be happy to uh, talk to you more about uh, purchasing one. Thank you.